On most modern direct injection vehicles, fuel pressure is trapped in the fuel rail when the engine is shut off. VCDS can be used to quickly check fuel rail pressure to test for signs of leaking injectors or a bad check valve on the high pressure fuel pump. Note that there are two different types of protocols these engines can use, CAN and UDS. The different protocols use different steps to view the information. Have the engine at idle and up to operating temperature. Let's connect to the engine control module. From the first screen of VCDS, click on Select, then Address 01 Engine. We are now on the open controller screen and VCDS is waiting for us to select a function. We need to verify the coolant temperature is at least 80 degrees Celsius. To do this, go into measuring blocks function 08, then group 001 and click on go. There are four fields. The second field shows the coolant temperature at 88 degrees Celsius. Now to check the fuel rail pressure. Type in for measuring block group number 106, then click on Go. The fuel rail pressure is shown in the first field, about 50 bar in this example. While most CAM protocol engine control modules will list fuel rail pressure in measuring via block group 106, not all engine control modules do. You may also find fuel rail pressure in measuring via block groups 140, 141, or 230. The measuring value block location of PID data depends on the design of the control module by the manufacturer. Fuel rail pressure at idle will vary depending on the specifications for the engine you are working with. Once the fuel rail pressure is noted, we can exit out of the engine control module. Click on Done, Go Back, then Close Controller Go Back 06 to exit out. When you are on the Select Control Module screen, VCDS is no longer communicating with the vehicle. It is now safe to shut the engine off, then turn the ignition back on, but do not start the engine. Go back into the engine control module, address 01. From the open controller screen, select measuring blocks, function 08. Type in for group number 106, then click on go. With a hot engine, we should expect to see the fuel rail pressure go up due to heat soak. Let's fast forward two minutes. We are now over 60 bar of pressure on the fuel rail. This is a typical result on a system working to factory design. Let's now look at doing the same type of test on a vehicle with a UDS engine control module. Have the engine at idle and up to operating temperature. Let's connect to the engine control module. From the first screen of VCDS, click on Select, then Address 01 Engine. We are now on the Open Controller screen and VCDS is waiting for us to select a function. Notice that with the UDS module, Measuring Blocks Function 08 is grayed out. With UDS modules, to look at live data, you have to select the Advanced Measuring Values button. This will bring up the item selection window, which will have a list of live PID data you can select from to view. Notice that the PID data has IDE location numbers. Coolant temperature is close to the top, IDE 00025. Select it and in the main VCDS window, the live data will be shown, 82 degrees Celsius. To find the fuel rail pressure from that list, Towards the top of the item selection window is a search box that you can type in keywords so that only the PID data that matches the keywords are shown. We know we are looking for fuel pressure, so let's type in the word fuel. With the engine control module I'm currently connected to, we find fuel high pressure, actual value, IDE location 00188, but not all UDS modules are the same. Here is another engine control module example, and when we search for fuel, we see IDE location 00188 again, but I also have a listing for fuel pressure, IDE location 00589. On this engine control module, IDE location 00188 value is in bar, but IDE location 00589 value is in kilopascals. With some UDS into control modules, you may not have IDE location 00188. 
what options and listens you have depend on how the control module was designed. Back in our original engine control module example, we have IDE location 00188 pulled up and with the engine up to operating temperature, we see the fuel rail pressure is about 34 bar at idle. Once the fuel rail pressure is noted, we can exit out of the engine control module, click on done, go back, and then close controller, go back 06 to exit out. When you are on the select control module screen, VCDS is no longer communicating with the vehicle. It is now safe to shut the engine off and then turn the ignition back on, but do not start the engine. Go back into the engine control module, address 01. From the open controller screen, select advanced measuring values. In the item selection window, type in fuel to narrow down our search, then select fuel high pressure, actual value. Again, we see that with a hot engine, heat soak on the fuel rail causes the pressure to go up from what it was at idle. Fast forward two minutes. Again, we are over 60 bar of pressure on the fuel rail. As with the CAN type engine control module, this is a typical result on a system working to factory design.